what I'm going to be doing on this part is I need to add some epoxy resin to this pipe, which is the one inch pipe, which is on this, this is an overhead view of the subterranean chamber's uh, horizontal shaft. So I'm going to add uh, epoxy. It's going to flow across here and then it's going to level out this wall, this wall right here, and then goes into the output shaft. So that's going to be one continuous flat surface from input to the output shaft. And that's what they did at Giza, and that's that's an important surface to be, you know, one continuous surface area. So what I'm going to do is got a scale, got some epoxy resin, going to mix up some epoxy, and I'm just going to I made sure this was level by putting in the, the square pipe, which is actually the the actual size of that shaft. This is three quarter inch square steel pipe, but the shaft was three feet, so I did three fourths of an inch to mimic that. So I'm going to do this plain surface first, because that is critical. And I've taken a level and take a level and make sure that this is going to flow correctly so I'm just going to put it into this shaft and let it run down through here and I'm just going to pull here and then pull towards the output so the boxy it's kind of messy so using some gloves and here we let's do 90 Wolf Patrol, okay, that's 87. We'll go with that number. I hope that's not too much. Be close. So 88, so 176 would be double. There's that. It's messy business, at least. This I kind of want to get to run down that far shaft. Try to do this fast. And I'll use a hair dryer. Heat it up a little bit to get a little fluid. So pour some down the shaft. And this stuff will set up pretty fast. So I'm gonna be rapid here. see it just a one consistent surface area from input to the output 
And that's exactly what was at the Great Pyramid. That actually turned out really well.